Y'all yeah, have too many missions left. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are continuing our playthrough of uh, Halo 3 ODST with Soldier Pat once again on this fine Thanksgiving day of 2021. Uh, we're loading into the next mission, so we're picking up right where we left off last time. So, yeah. Hit subscribe. <laughs> like and subscribe. And we are live on Twitch, Facebook, and YouTube. All three at one time. Clear? Yeah, we're good. Hey, rookie, you out there? Respond, that's an order. Give it up, Gunny. Even if he ain't dead, he's lost in that soup. Our comms can't cut through that. Oh, give up, huh? What if it were you down there? Just saying, I ain't dead. <laughs> You're a piece of work, Romeo. Welcome aboard, ladies. First stop anywhere but here. Banshees, on your six. Hit the deck! We're losing her. Watch out! Ah! Mickey, duck! Status! Alive or dead, we're pulling them out. You hear me? Make some noise. Okay, Buck. Get your back. I kind of wish we were able to play Halo 5 just because Buck's in it. Back inside. Let's find that pelican. I want to see what, what he's up to. We sidestepped on the way up. Now we get to kill them. Okay, good. Woo. I was nervous. Did you crash or something? My, no, my... <laughs> Thanks for picking such my a tall building. Screen I'm really stopped all these uh, full screeny. Do you ever get for a tired second, of Romeo? I had to, uh... Ever get tired of busting my balls? I was out of something, but... They haven't seen us. Pick a target. Take it out. That Jeez. did it! Shoot and scoot! Shoot and scoot. I'll draw that turret fire. You kill the operator. Romeo, Phantom landing on you the You know those brutes have shields now? Phantom! Uh, Get like right fire. now? Or? Well, ever since, like, ODST. Oh, yeah. Started. They have shields instead of just armor. Which is kind of weird. Play some World War Three so bad. No. Night two. I'm playing it. But if it don't work, it don't work. Yep. I hope that they're they're able to fix it. It was. I wonder what happened. Like because this morning they're they're fine. Too like, many people. I wonder if that's really it. But like they kept saying they're taking it down to do maintenance. So then, like, I was in the last game I was in, it was like, uh, they literally said, like, oh, uh, we'll be taking the servers down for 90 minute maintenance. And that was at 11 o'clock. And then they're like, hi, this is taking longer, like, three hours later. This is taking longer than expected. Uh, we were working our hardest to get it back online on Twitter and then by like five o'clock they're like I don't think we're gonna be able to get it up by tonight damn I was like damn what are they doing yeah I wonder like I don't know what kind of like issue I kind of wish like company was a us like in a way like hey like we see all you got like is it a server like as in people too many people are trying to connect and they're trying to like slowly add like uh capability or is it like more so there's a bug and they're trying to fix it i don't know yeah i don't know when I was in the game, 
um there's two things that uh showed up in the so you can do there's a play option um then there's customize which is customize your loadouts and they they literally give you like 20 loadouts because it's different weapons and different equipment um the amount of combinations that they have is probably within like thousands if not millions um, because of how many different weapons different attachments different uh blueprints skins uh score streaks all that stuff um Oh, but so customization and then there was a career page which shows you like your current level and then the last thing is uh or the last two was there's a shop uh which you can't access and then there's the battle pass which you can't access oh uh, that's so, until day one yeah i don't think either of those will release until the game is out for everybody so, can't even see what's in it. Nope, can't even click on it or anything. So. I'm just kind of like curious how they're going to do it. Because it's going to be free to play. So if like, I don't, I don't know how that's going to work. Other than, oh. I guess, just a battle pass. But, like, what's the battle pass going to unlock characters? Or is it going to help you level faster? Like, is it going to be, like, enlisted? Birds wasted. Lost the pilot on impact. Hope Rest it's like Call of Duty. Okay. Honestly. Not for long. Phantoms inbound. <laughs> yeah, how does... Customization, new surprised? weapons, and then later on, if you don't unlock it, you can be able to unlock those weapons later out. through some sort of challenge. Okay. But... It is free to play, so I don't think they're gonna do that. But what can I do? Yeah, I mean anything is. We will see. I mean, the nice thing is I already got it forever ago, so it's not like I'm and I'm not putting any new money into it, so I, it can only go up for me. Yeah. And on top of that, the price to entry is literally 15 bucks. Yeah. So like if I'm considering buying it after all, everything I've been through, you know, you're doing it right. Yeah, it's it's not like so that's the thing. Sorry. <laughs> hey, you. Yeah, you walked right in my rockets. Oh, damn it. The, the thing with it, too, is this isn't a $60 game. Like, this is it, the price to entry right now is 15 bucks. So, if it works out and ends up being great, that's awesome. Like, if yeah. not, not like you spent 80 bucks on, like, Battlefield. Where it's like getting better slowly, but yeah, well, and being it's also free doesn't mean it's yeah. free from criticism. Yeah, that's true. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, it still has to be a quality in some ways, of course. Phantom to our right. I love seeing. Uh, I was on the Reddit again. Infinite? Uh, for Infinite, yeah, for okay. Halo. Um, and I saw people saying they're like, uh, one of the top posts was literally like, this game has absolutely nailed the gunplay, but completely fucked themselves with the meta gaming for the battle pass. Yeah, I saw that a couple times too, and I agree. It's literally like it it could be a perfect game with no complaints if it had a similar style for online as this game did. Yeah, or any other. 
Uh, yeah, I... I don't know. It, it literally, uh, I think, and it honestly would be like a perfect game. I was perfect really hoping. Game. I was really hoping that after the flights, they'll be like, you know what, let's just do the way Master Chief Collection does it. With the store this time around. To allow making money from it. Yeah. Uh, I put too much hope in that. <laughs> yeah. When I saw that $500 million price tag, like that's how much it costs for them to make the game, I'm like, oh no. Damn. Poor sir. Trying to get as much money as I can. Yeah. Wait for it. Five hundred million dollars. Could you imagine that? Yeah. <laughs> yep. A lot God, of damn. money. Laser ready. Like, uh, and their only amount that they'll spend that money is if they they've calculated that they're going to make enough profit from it. So five hundred million dollars has to be worth it to them. In a way. Did they pull a destiny where they said it's gonna be a ten year plan? Did they? Uh, I'm asking saying. if they did. Oh, I don't know. I haven't really been sure. Is that what, um, I guess that's what Destiny plan is? Ten years? That's what Destiny's too, yeah. Oh, hey, at uh, this point. Yeah, that's true. What, what, what year did it come out? Good question. Uh, I think it's 2012 or 2014. No, Destiny 2. 2. Mm. <laughs> 2017. <laughs> I was gonna say 2016. <laughs> but yeah. I'm listening to 2022. Now. Damn. So, about halfway through. At this point, only Siege has been able to hit the 10 year plan. What year did Siege come out of? Before Destiny 2. Um, each. <coughs> 2015. Uh, how bad? About to hit seven years. Not good. Damn. We're gonna get you out of here. Not by air, we're not. And everyone hates the game it's now. Right. <laughs> yeah. I, know I don't know why, here. but. 10 years is a lot of time mm -hmm. for an. For especially today, when in five years, games drastically look different. Like, even two or three years. Like, they, they can look different. Like, they can play different, too. Yeah. Really how that works. They can handle a lot of things, like, optimization-wise, too. So. Is, isn't that basically an entire, almost almost an entire generation, five years, for yeah. a graphics card, at least? Yeah. Absolutely. And then seven years to ten years is a new console. Every game wants to be like a like a League of Legends or like a Grand Theft Auto. It's like, sir, that's not how this works. Like make a good game first and then decide if you want to make it a ten year plan. Yeah. Like imagine them coming out and being like Destiny or uh Division Two, ten year game. Like what? It's been Maybe. like three years. And people are and also crash. already, yeah. But then, like year one, well, Division Two was good. I don't. Why yeah. did we stop playing that? Did we just get the, bored of it? There's, I mean, from what I know, there's not much to do right now. Yeah, I mean, it's a like, thing. I've gone yes. back and played the uh, the big expansion stuff, but like, there's for me, uh. There's not, I haven't seen enough incentive for me to go through and get enough gear score to be able to go through the raids. Like, what am I going to do after that? Okay, I finished the raid. Now what? Like, just keep grinding? Keep yeah, it's an, 
That's an MMO at this point. At least at MMOs, you have different classes you can try. Yeah, exactly. Yo, what's up, Living Legends? How you doing? Please remain calm. Control circuits now open with pride. Exactly. So, like, I get it when it, it would suck too if they if they had to lock it to um to one. You know, what would be interesting for the next division. What if they did a style where they literally embrace the MMO ness and they let you join factions, and then. I don't know, like they expanded the world like crazy and now you, there's like a 15 to 20 hour storyline per faction. So like, okay, you can join the division or you can join the Rikers or you can join the, uh, like the bad guys. That'd be interesting for PvP. Yeah. For sure. But have them compete, like have weekly rewards for like, oh, who won? But, this district in PvP. But think like for expansions, they're gonna have to make content for three different factions, and the people are gonna complain that uh, there's not a fourth faction that they can join. So eventually, <laughs> they're gonna have to make a fourth faction and to make four factions worth of stuff in the next X packs, whenever that will be. That's just that's a lot of work. <laughs> okay, I see. Okay, well, I would, well, I would like that, but you could break it down too. I mean, I. Honestly, it's still and possible. It has to be good too. Too, even if you bro broke it into two, like you had the division, and then you had those, uh, the guys that come in towards the end of division two. What if you made them the uh, oh, second the, faction? The yeah, the I want to say uh, black. What uh, are they really called? The black division? <laughs> are they called? Is it? Isn't it like uh, black watch or something? Eating a giant Hershey bar, nice. <laughs> How bad? Not good. We're gonna get you out of here. Yeah, I feel like that would fit perfectly though in a division game. Good. I'm just worried about the workload. Yeah. Like no. eventually, like three years down the line, people are gonna be begging for more factions. Because you people think? by by that point, people are gonna like all the hardcore people are gonna be like, yo, we played every single faction and every single storyline. Give us more. And then they they have to do it because eventually their voices will drown out the rest. It's happened before. I forget with what. Yeah, but why would they need to add another We're faction if they can just add like a big content up, like that expands the story for That's both factions? Because sometimes they uh they don't release it. What's wrong? And, uh, it's got a punctured lung. Can't breathe. So I'm watching this, and they, uh, they don't release it in a respectable amount of time. I don't know. So sometimes there's a content drought. Now what? Trains ran underground. And they catch up. We're gonna find one of the tunnels. And then they finish the next content drop within like a week, when it should be like a month. Sweetheart, was planning on it, but now that you're feeling better. Yeah. Get the it's the same problem as any other game. Like, you gotta worry about the hardcore people and the casual people. True. Like, I know I'm not gonna finish all that, but... It's gonna happen anyway. Same. <laughs> Gun, you're gonna wanna see this. I'm watching a network time. footage of Elden Ring and not gonna lie, I'm excited. I think Elden look, Ring looks pretty cool, honestly. I am beyond excited for that. Yeah. Beyond. This it reminds me screwed, of like right? Dark Souls and Ghost of Tsushima a little bit with the world. Not yet. Wait here. We're gonna steal that ride. It's landing. Now's our chance, Mickey. You with me? I've been debating on um eventually Dark, Soul Dark Souls. Dark Souls. <laughs> yes, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> I've been debating about it. It's been years since I even ran a simulation. I was like, even though Elden Ring has nothing to do with Dark Souls, I know. But still, 
I have been just because like technically if I just master the dodge roll <laughs> then I might be good I am I was here for you for Halo you know I'm gonna be here for you for Dark Souls <laughs> please can you play all of them co-op at this rate uh yeah, it's um. The issue think? is you gotta get to a certain point to get to the co-op. Yeah, I so remember. So Dark Souls One, you have to beat two bosses and then you get the summoning stone. Yep. And then you have to get to the third boss to use said summoning stone. Actually, no, you have to get to the third bonfire. It's right before. Up the lift, kill the pilots. Here goes nothing. At the third bonfire, well, whatever X number bonfire, right before the bo next boss to use the summoning stone. Okay, so for Dark Souls, does the class actually matter, or is it basically like if you're not going? No, it's like Skyrim in, in a sense, and that's a very loose interpretation of that. Yeah. So like, you can choose a knight, but eventually spec out your character to be a a mage. Okay, I'll grab a banshee. You go get Dutch and Romeo. Huh. You can you can make a mage, but then make yourself a tank with the capability to wear the heaviest armor and wield the heaviest guns. Okay. And that's like that with all the Dark Souls games. But like, is there one that's like overpowered versus the rest of the classes? Yeah, uh, in Dark Souls 1, Pyromancy is the best, I believe. Dark is that Souls like you're oh, wow. using a staff? No, you use like a pyromancy glove. So like oh. the the glove allows you to throw fire and stuff like that. Um, and that's a separate leveling up system. So like so it, you're basically leveling up a weapon. You use um so in, in Dark Souls one you use um you use these things called Titanite Shards to level up weapons, right? So you get plus one, plus two to get more damage out of them. Yep. With the glove, you need its own separate thing to get plus one, plus two. But the the best, the good part about the glove is you get more return than you would a weapon, so you get where more you damage going? out of it. Are you I don't know where I'm... Uh, yeah, I am lost. You need to go <laughs> over here. And I'm then there's banshees. Over here. I know, <laughs> I know, I know. There's banshees all the way over right here. Oh. Oh. <sighs> yeah, you know, let me see if I land. This area not safe. I say we we start with Dark Souls three. Really? Yeah. At least for you, it, it's it's easier to do everything there, and then well, once you get through Dark Souls three, you can go back to Dark Souls one and see where it all started, and I can explain it all to you there too. It'd be kind of cool. And you can you can still do the whole oh so this is where this links up with that and that, that type of thing. Won't really matter because you know nothing about whole lot of both the games. Gathering around the crater yeah. from that slip space rupture. I wonder what they're looking for. Dark Souls 2, we could skip, but I mean, it's up to you if you want to do that or not. By that I point. mean, I would play them all. If I was going to do it, I'd do all three because that's all everlasting content. <laughs> True. Basically, there's always going to be people looking up and stuff. Not only that, but. Like, we could do the whole first time Dark Souls player type thing, I'm sure. Oh, Maybe, yeah. I still I still look that up. Just um There's a banshee down there if you wanna land like right below you. Right below you. Uh coming in must have blocked the door to the next area. Oh right there. The right uh, right there too actually, yeah. Alright, not safe up here. I hear Demon's Souls is easiest. I don't think that's not all on PC. Right? Yeah, right? 
on an emulator, like yeah. Coming PC. I've been seeing a lot of uh, Switch games on PC recently using Rip. emulators. Yeah. Like the new Pokemon one. Um, oh, I forgot they cracked it early. There was a, yeah, there was a special website that uh, I just so happened to allegedly land on. Um, hypothetically, of course. Yeah, hypothetically. Uh, where it had like the new Pokemon game and it had Shin Megami Tensei 5. Allegedly, they were on there. Um, <laughs> and uh, allegedly, you could download them and play them uh, allegedly on PC. Allegedly. Damn. <laughs> But yeah. Surprised, uh. The heck, these guys won't die. Yeah, they're tanks. I'm surprised that, uh. Nintendo hasn't hypothetically looked at these guys yet. I know. Well, it's always gonna be out there. No matter what yeah. you do, I feel like, like, there's no point in fighting that stuff because the internet's just gonna get smarter and smarter, and as the internet gets smarter and smarter, it's gonna get harder and harder. To tell and that to Nintendo. Up, I'll go first. Huh? Tell that to Nintendo. I know. Well, tell that to Disney, too. What's Honestly, Disney doing? Well, you can't watch any stuff in 4K on your web browser because they have, like... Oh, my God. Everyone's doing that. It's so yeah. annoying. It's like, you can't watch it because if you do, then they'll... Uh, Record there's some it sort of, like, yeah. There's some sort <laughs> of, like, basically security setting that they do that so that way you can't just like record it there i guess yeah Jesus. i found out about it when i was trying to uh stream stuff through my pc to my uh my tv yep and i was like this does not look 4k and then i googled why and i thought it was my hdmi cord but i found out my my cord is fine it can pull out 4k no problem i did some more digging and then i found out oh yeah you can't stream anything through your pc because yeah they're like hey you can record that, but I'm like, well, I can I can do a quick Google search and find 4K stuff on the internet anyway. So what are yeah. you trying to stop here? Literally all you, like, literally all you would have to do, okay, in that case, and since you can't do it on your PC, all you need to do is connect a capture cord <laughs> or a cam TV. cam cord to yeah. your TV, and then yeah. just record it using something like OBS and boom 4k footage like it's so easy to get around it's like at that point why why even bother why even bother I don't know I feel like I want to say executives don't know better but yeah. like oh yeah it's, it's these not just that don't even know how to google these stuff boomers. yeah <laughs> I mean just, yeah Literally, they're like, they're like, what is the, what is a Finsta? You have this Finsta account. Do you, uh, there's a, um, you record 4K footage, so you're not supposed to. Yeah. Through Finsta. Like, no, that's sir. Not how it works. Finsta, there was a, uh, a thing like that actually, uh, real quick. There was a, like, um, a senator making, remarks about like finsta accounts and they're like the have you been gathering data on those using finsta is this a separate application from uh your instagram and they're like sir finsta is a name for an account do you know what a finsta is just for I'm gonna just say so instagram <laughs> So, Finsta is Am like, I a boomer? Did I get it wrong? No, no, no. It's, it is Instagram, but it's specifically, like, accounts where people make the, like, meme or to, uh, uh like, it's, con it stands for funny, funny Instagram. So, Finsta. Because, like, mm. spam or, like, you post pictures that, like, you normally wouldn't post on your regular account. Like, basically like that. And they're they're having some sort of like senator question for like Instagram, and 
he was like, is this Finsta? Is this a service that you provide? And <laughs> the person was like, Senator, that's not how this works. Like, uh, a Finsta is a type of account. And he's like, so is it a service that you provide? And they're like, if it's Instagram, yes, but if Finsta is a type of account, and they they just did not get it at all. It's like that's who we're dealing with. For these things. Like, we were, we've been dealing with that for a while. Yeah, we're going to forever too, or until until we shit decide. changes. Yeah. Where it's like, hey, maybe somebody that was born in 1915 should not be dictating things. Oh, yeah, that they have no understanding of. Like te technology has suppressed them. Yeah. T twofold, and they they haven't caught up. Low on ammo. If you're if you're in this chat, how is? I'm this? sorry if you don't agree. Oh no, it's like at this point, it's like whatever. Um. I know, but like politics is kind of a. Oh yeah, a very triggering thing. Oh my god, my parents talked about politics <laughs> at their <laughs> dinner table. Luckily, I agree with them, but like, I still, I just don't want to hear it. Yeah, no, I don't. I, 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 I watch the news, not watch it. I, I like, I hear the news every day, and yeah. I'm just like, I need a break from it. Yeah, I can't. I cannot. Watch I don't mind talking to you about it, but news. Yeah. I can't at all. Like when it comes to like sitting down and turn turning on like that. any type you just of get news so depressed. channel. Not even that, but it just like depressed or well, angry for yeah, me at least. Literally, and I mean that's what they they feed off of anyways. Yeah. But at the same time, like I'd rather like read an article. Anyways, that's the one time where like reading or like. Reddit is a very good source. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, but even then, I, that's where I get most of my news from. And even then, I have a separate um, tab for news, so okay. I don't see it yeah. in my. So I choose to go in there if I want to. Okay. Dude, what the heck are we supposed to do here? I don't know. Um, uh, open all blocking doors. Apparently, there's a switch we gotta get. Oh, I think in here. Oh, that's a health kit. Never mind. Got. I got a door. Oh. How do? Oh, that was it. It was in there, straight ahead. Oh. To the right. To the right. Yeah, there was a a button on one of these consoles here. Oh man. Ugh. Fun stuff. I don't think Drill we're getting hard time, new. but... Yeah, I don't think so. I think it was four minutes. Right Ooh, a scarab. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, what were we talking about before all that? Before all the new stuff? Yeah. Um, uh, boomers and our politics. Yeah. Uh, before I, that, I don't know. Yeah, before that, I get we we're talking about oh, uh, 4K stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 4K. Yeah. Um. But yeah, they they need to uh. Yeah. Alleviate the restrictions. It's just hurting the consumers that want to buy our products. Same. Yeah. Or don't it's or don't know how to pirate those products Jesus. it's also i mean the same factor similar for like video games too like all these companies the leaders are like well just make a mobile game mobile the game is like billion dollar companies like, why can't we just do that with our 60 dollar game it's like i was gonna like, compare it to uh de novo that yeah that too um, what they had their giant outage recently, and like there was tons of games that could not run because because that uh, 
was there. Again, you're, you're hurting the people that want to pay for your stuff. Exactly. And you're just making more and more people figure, try and figure out how to, to pirate it. Like, I it's get it. It's out there anyway. I, I understand putting in things that help stop it, alleviate it. Yeah. But when it when it reaches a point where it's harming the those who purchased legally purchased here, <laughs> yeah, oops. Uh, that's when it becomes a should you really still be doing this? Like, yeah. Is it worth hurting those to slightly just hinder others? Um, so Good yeah. folk. Huh. I don't even think I've pirated the game. <laughs> I've gotten close. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't think I have. Allegedly, it's pretty allegedly. easy. Allegedly, it's pretty easy. Um. <laughs> but, uh, this the Nova hey. shit made me pretty oh, close. I forgot to uh, open. Hey, Freed Kittens, thank you for the host there. I appreciate that. Um, forgot to open. Uh, what are we supposed to do? Is there another scare? Freed Kittens. Uh, Evade or destroy scarabs. Well, we destroyed one. Is there two? I don't destroy, see. No, it says evade or destroy scarab. Single, singular. Oh, we destroyed it. Scarab destroyed. Where do we go next, sir? Uh, maybe we have to go to this door. Probably this door. Yep. Open door. Did you watch uh, Rooster Teeth back in the ODST days? Um, no, nah, not really. Oh my I god. I mean, a little that was bit. Lore days. Yeah. They did um. They did firefight on like legendary difficulty and that kind of stuff. So funny. Bro. <laughs> I remember watching some of their stuff, but no, I don't remember like I wasn't watching all. It's probably not too funny now that we matured. But, oh my god. Around that same time, they did a Rainbow Six Vegas 2, you know, the terrorist hunt mode? Yes. They did that on the hardest Keep difficulty steady, mode. Mickey. Trying to do all the maps. You doing okay? So funny. Just glad oh. we didn't go with your first plan. Dude, that is a game I want to replay. Ones that aren't flooded are the Rainbow Six Vegas targets. games. I tried. Hell, I wouldn't go down it's there not age well. Me too. I mean, I'll try with you if you really want to. What could be more important than that carrier? My orders. And Buck, call me Captain. Mickey, turn around. Find a safe place to set us down. What? Why? Did she... I lost something. Now oh. I know where to find her. I thought she betrayed us. <laughs> hmm. I mean, I'll play Rainbow Six. Vegas with you, but my god, it did not age well. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. It was a good know. game, but oh, I played so much of that. Same. That, uh, if they I, did I kept another my progress one. in that too. What's that? They, I kept losing my progress in that too. Oh, no, no, that was that was Red Dead Redemption. Never mind. Uh, Can anyone hear me? This is Captain Veronica Dare. That was, uh, my beacon is active. It was disappointing. Someone, please respond. I don't know why I kept losing progress, so I just stopped playing it. I, I love Red Dead Redemption. Online then, or? Online, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Every time That's I logged fair. in, I like ranked up like 10 times or something, got all my money, and then end up losing it all the next time I logged in. I, I don't know why. Red Dead Redemption 2 or? 1, 1. 1, okay, yeah. I think I remember something like that, maybe. Oh, I was definitely complaining about it with you guys, with you, Danny. <laughs> I used uh, to love, I remember that's the only game 
where I actually went through and went through all the prestiges to get. I remember unlocking the old lady skin and the zebra at max level. I couldn't even get to that point. It just reset <laughs> me and that just made me so mad. Yeah, I can imagine. You have to go. I think they tried to make a, a Vegas like spinoff, like Patriots, right? Yeah, Vegas Patriot. Yep. Or er, well, and then they turn into Siege. Yep. Or they use some of those assets, if not all of it, to turn it to Siege. Yeah. I remember being disappointed, but I ended up liking Siege in the beginning anyway. Yeah, I remember liking it, but like, there's something that still just doesn't hit right for me. Or games that are just multiplayer only. Yeah, I get that. That especially that they they originally had like actually decent campaigns, you know. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I get that. So that's where it's just like, especially and when it's a tactical game like Siege or like Rainbow Six. Like those are you know, perfect. Even Ghost games. Recon now. Yeah. Freaking Ubisoft is um. And I don't think they're ever going to go back to it. Yeah, I don't know. Let's At least see. Not for a while. Maybe when uh, we're in our 40s. <laughs> <laughs> but they'll be yeah. like, hey, we're back to the, the early 2000 days. Or just like, I mean, even just for it. Um, doing remasters of old games, I think yeah. sometimes is even good enough. Because then it, it, it's like, okay. Hey, you remember this cool game that you really enjoyed? Well, now you can play it in 1440p uh, and super clean refresh rate and all that, yada yada. Like, I did that with uh, Grand Theft Auto and they, they kind yes. of destroyed their store. <laughs> well, that's. I feel like Grand Theft Auto is a very special case because it is. they want to do the least amount of work and nowadays they want to do the least amount of work but make them the most amount of profits oh did someone see the comparison with the mod uh and and what the uh the remaster has to offer the mod that they took down no oh my god the mod looked better than gta yeah. 5 in some points like my god it's like i just don't understand like, my thought process goes, if somebody wants to do the work for you... Either let them or hire them. Hire them? Yeah, either let them do it for free and have their own source of income, like Patreon or whatever, or hire them. Problem solved. Yeah. I mean, I understand like, if you're planning on doing a remaster eventually and you don't want the competition because you want people to pay for the thing that you put out, fine, I get that. Then hire the guy that you know can do it right, that yes. has the uh, the good faith of the people. It just, it goes back to those guys at the top, man. Uh, they're like, no, we don't need them. But I, I bet you a lot of those people would probably be cheaper than paying an entire team to do something they're not as familiar well, yeah, with. Well, yeah, because they basically did it on their own or with a very small team. Yeah. I'm low on ammo. Yeah, give them the resources they need, I'm they'll probably do a lot better than uh, than their, their full team that they already have. Yeah. It's cheaper. You know they're going to get the job done, right? Why would it, I, I, I want to know why. I want to be a fly on the wall. Yes, like where when that conversation comes yeah, up, yeah, I, I want to be a fly on the wall. Like, if if there's legitimate reasons, and I'm sure there are, I'm sure there's plenty. But at the same time, do those outweigh? I don't know. Apparently, the good. to them, it does outweigh the good. And look how well it's doing for them. <laughs> so. I think we're heading towards the end we just did two rookie missions in a row yeah gotta be pretty close
I just want, in the end of the day, I want video games and entertainment to be great. Because they distract us from real life. God and damn, they, they tell great sometimes. stories. I think the ultimate test for that, the, the whole hire the people that do the mods for you, is uh, what's that game that you told me about last night? Uh, Forgotten. Yeah, I uh, think city. how well that does. Yeah. Will be the uh, the test. Literally, like, and it's had nothing but positive. Like, I mean, from what I've seen, like it's a short experience, but like, all they did was they took the same concept. I don't think people really care. It's a short experience as long as it's a good experience. Right? Yeah. Yep. And the price, but it's on Game Pass. So. One hundred, and for me personally, I would rather pay. Uh, especially today, since I'm not, I am limited on time as I was from being a kid. Like being a kid, I could play 40, 50 hour games. I still can today, but it's a time sink. Especially when you're only playing like two to four hours a night, and then there's some people like that are even busier that only get like one hour a night. You know, so. Personally, like in that instance, I'd rather play short experiences, like pay 30, 40 bucks for a game that's 16 to 20 hours and it's solid. Like, perfect example is um, Guardians of the Galaxy. That game is yeah. fantastic. Yeah, because those games have to re respect your time. Yes. And that's where most of this argument comes from. No, no padding. No filler. Yeah. Like, God damn. I, I still really think of Odyssey when I think of filler. <laughs> yeah. Flip the switch. Oh. Yeah. You can really only, like, especially today. Oh. Oh, God. I saw. Did you die? Um, no. Oh, you were supposed you're to alive. jump down there, anyways. Can't see a damn I think so. Thing. Yeah. Um, first. Yeah. first. Today, anyways, you literally like, I mean, you can rotate between games, but like, imagine only playing Call of Duty, then Halo, then um, Battlefield, like only rotating between those games. Like you totally can do it. And like, I feel like most people do. Well, like, we we definitely did. I think. Yeah, I I, I, I did. think Assassin's Creed was the one that really broke the 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 first person repetitiveness back in the day for us. Yeah. Yep. Other than that, yeah, we played Call of Duty, Battlefield, and Halo. Yeah. So and the, like today, they want so much time from you, like just for. For instance, Halo Infinite right now with the battle pass. Like, if you complete all the challenges, then now you can keep playing, but you're going to make little progress. And it's like, okay, if you want to keep making progress, come back next week. If you want to keep doing this, come back next time. Like they, they want you in like to play once or twice a week or every single day. Because the more you play, the more inclined you'll be to to spend moolah and so on. Yeah. It's a it's a shame we're modern gaming. <laughs> yeah, I I don't I'm like think a boomer. I like I like being Shit. that person where it's like. A lot of people will always be like, oh, gaming has gone to complete shit. Blah, 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 blah. Back in the day. Yeah. And that. But, and, and yes, there are many, many issues, but there's also some fantastic underrated oh, yeah. stuff yeah. that comes out today, too, in 2021. You hear that? But that's the problem is it's underrated things. It's usually it's hard, yeah, it's hard to catch them. Yeah, so um and you would think and I mean in the case of like 
games that have bugs and issues and things like that for like those technology has advanced so therefore you would expect the game to be more advanced but it's almost like it's every single big release has been a setback oh, yeah. recently and it's like how how is how does this work we should have bigger and better than ever not bigger and features taken in a shell i mean on honestly the only thing i can think of is covid but even then yes but i so i can't i can't wait another few I, years to think yeah. that i'm right my but my just, personal just, opinion when it comes to the, the covid argument i do think it is difficult at first but within the th i would say and it is always going to depend company from company it's not easy like having all these designers and developers sitting at home doing it rather than just being able to like toss feedback back and forth like right in front of each other uh, especially when you're working on such a big project but at the same time i also believe that it might have become easier for a lot of these companies especially once they've gotten used to it after three months oh yeah oh yeah some some departments have definitely yeah and made overall it from from all the, the things i've seen too overall for majority of companies productive uh what is it productiveness has like skyrocketed from covid because people are more it's you. working from home i thought now like Never mind. yeah i, I did again? see that inside now. and i think that's because why more, more and more companies are saying hey if you don't need to come to work then don't come to work just work from home because you're more productive and you get yeah. more done this way and stay quiet so Some idiots blew the building at the top of the in my shaft. opinion not enough Broke companies are doing that but whatever down there oh yeah not not That's nearly the superintendent. enough the AI it's gonna, it's gonna take years and years my mission lot, but. our mission is to secure the superintendent's data problem is there's only one way in from here, right through the hive. Hmm. We fight more bugs, I see. It would have been suicide to go alone, and I was hoping for more backup. But I guess you're it. You've been solo since we dropped. Fighting on the surface? Unless you spent all night hiding in your pod, you must know your stuff. Show me. Alright, I'll be right back, but you can keep going. Yeah. This way, trooper. Lead the way, dare. Fight the hive to the data center. I actually missed what uh, the name of the mission we're on right now. Chat, with our whole conversation, at the end of the day, I just want video games to be great. So, <laughs> basically, because they are great. So. There's so many great games to play too. Thinking about Yakuza after after this, I could also go Final Fantasy. I could also do um I don't know. I haven't fully decided yet what we're gonna go next. Halo Infinite technically drops in about a week and a half. Anyway, so there is time for that. Um, like, we'll be playing that. Hopefully it's, like, not super short, but short enough where it's, like, okay, short and to the point. And fun. Um, it's December 8th. Uh. 
How did she get up there? Trooper, through here. I found an elevator. Come to me. Elevator up. Next stop. Bugger Central. Let's stick together. Move fast and quiet. Thanks for saving me. Again. Damn! Here they come! I still don't know what we're really going for here. Uh, we're going for trying to protect that AI system, basically. Um... Wait, that was her objective. There's like a giant machine. I've been paying attention kind of like say like 60% yeah, <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say Cortana, but no, no, no Cortana's on nah. here Unless The flood ship was already here, we can't go but back. Nah. We have to keep pushing through Um did you play the new Kino. Resident Almost Evil games? There. I At played all? seven, didn't finish it, cause I got stuck. I got a checkpoint where I didn't have enough ammo to finish hmm. whatever I needed Life. to do. Yeah. And then I wanted to play eight, but I never bought it, so I ended up watching a playthrough of it. Follow me. Okay. I see a way across. And they they look fun. They look like good games. So. Yeah. I seven is too intense for me. Um, yeah, eight looks like it's more action oriented, not horror. Although it does have some scary stuff. Yeah, I think eight I'd be fifty fifty on. Um, but actually meant technically <laughs> I I meant uh, Resident Evil two and oh the, three, the remakes yeah. Oh, I played uh, the second remaster. Okay. I love that game. Really? Okay. Yeah. yeah. I love the crap out of that. I uh, I didn't play three. I watched the playthrough of that one because I heard it was short. Yeah. I got both of them when they were 15 bucks a while ago, and I just haven't gotten around to it. I literally bought um. I bought the uh two oh, last year for for that. And then earlier this year, I saw three went on sale for 15 again. So I got it then. Yeah, but from what I've seen and played, 15 bucks are good prices. Yeah, that's that's about like the value I'd get out. Cause I don't know if I 100% would like it like that much or if I'd be like, oh fucking meh. Two you can get four playthroughs out of. There's like right. Leon, yeah, Leon A and B, and then Claire A and B. I still have to do the B playthroughs of each character. Huh. Yeah, I, f I keep forgetting okay, that they have that. I still got my uh, my money's worth, I feel like. I didn't even get 60 hours out of it, but I, I had so much fun with it. <laughs> hmm. So. And they were all games, too. Yeah. Yeah. See, that prime example of games that are, that are old, if they're done and remastered correctly with time, same thing with Mafia. Mafia 1 was my game of the year. One of my game of the years. Yeah, I went until that's year. on sale. To buy oh, it. Such a good game. I love Mafia 2. Mafia 3 is repetitive, but I like the, shoot. the gameplay and the voice acting.
We've seen them before on other ops, but we've never gotten this close. The best we can tell, they're prisoners or slaves. Either way, they don't like the Covenant any more than we do. I spotted this one in the tunnels. Watched it access comm lines, security cameras, traffic controls, you name it. Eventually it holed up here. Oni calls them engineers. Believes they're some sort of biological supercomputers. If I'm right, this one has taken the superintendent's data and combined it with its own. Everything we want to know about the Covenant. What they're looking for under the city is right in here. Buggers must have raised the alarm. Buck! Veronica? Where the hell are you? Data center, but we're coming out. We? No time to explain, but do not, I repeat, do not shoot anything pink. Whatever you say, come on! Those brutes are here for the engineer. They'll kill it if they get the chance. You, stay behind me, okay? If we weren't searching for an AI, we were searching for that bug thing. Virgil, oh my shields, god, I forgot. They won't last long in a firefight. Take point, clear a path to Buck. Oh, it came in right after us. Did you play any of the uh, the previous um, Resident Evil games? I didn't play Resident Evil 1 Remastered. I'm waiting for 4 to get remastered. I, I haven't played it. Yep. The only previous Resident Evil games I've played was 5. Because of the co-op. I played that with Matt like a few times. Okay. That was a fun time. I want to consider it a Resident Evil game, really, but it's still a fun time. You wouldn't what? I consider it a Resident Evil rookie. game. Head through the door. Oh. It was just, I don't know. After playing like two and seeing what seven and eight could be, About this, uh, yeah. like eight were, Feel free to I want to whatever. consider them Resident Evil Not games, so I'm six. But they're still fun games, especially co op. Uh, my first six, I didn't really finish, but go ahead. Okay, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. My technically, my first one was uh, six. I remember playing five, like the demo, but it it has it's that game that it does the tank controls. Yeah, it does. For... It takes a lot to get used to, from what I remember. Damn. Yeah. Don't worry. I'm, we have a key. I'm pretty sure on PC there's. A mod though that actually makes it modern. Yeah, I think they wanted to keep the tank controls because that's what it was before. Yeah. They wanted, but I don't know. Is I but think people, was four like that too. Them. Or yeah, four was like that as well. Okay. I've seen hundreds of these things today. Why is this one so important? This engineer knows what the Covenant's after. You remember the I ship one? Catch more of them, I would. Resident what Evil Revelations, I think it was called. Oh. Are you on a ship? It was like a spin-off. I played that too. Them, Didn't oh, finish well. it. <laughs> I, I think I just that's get bored one halfway nice through. Work. Yeah, same. I am pretty sure I got that one on uh, on my Switch. Where it was like Revel uh, Revelations Zero or something. Uh, that's a game that I or a franchise I want to go through someday. But I'm There's also kind of like... Yeah. Um, I don't know. You have, to, you have to go through like the gameplay or the... Um, you have to get used to the gunplay and the feeling of each game. Yeah. Like I think in a in a good scenario would be uh, playing two and three because those are Elevate. so modern now. But then playing... Uh, 
I mean, six, I actually liked two. Um, it didn't get the best reviews, but I enjoyed it during its time. Coastal Highway. I might have let the the reviews dictate my my opinion on the game. That was back yeah. when I used to read game reviews before a game came out. Even if I bought it. Thanks. Kind of reminds me of my. Whoa. What was that for? Abandoning the mission. What mission? You dropped off the grid. My squad was scattered. <laughs> oh. Whoa. And that? For coming back. Am I gonna kiss the little monster? <laughs> you did good. <laughs> yeah, right. No <laughs> We're not out of this yet. Captain, how about you hang back? Let us. This must back. be like the first or the second to last assets. mission. I think this is the last mission. I, I wonder what the significance of this thing is. It, this has to be important to three, right? Yeah, I forget. Um. Maybe it tells us where truth is or where I the arc is. I don't yeah. know. I remember this thing. Get the damn turret! I can't remember much else. Fuck, that turret has us pinned. We can't advance. Blank well, the watchtower, trooper. Take it out. Turret's down. No. I'm excited to play um, for pain. Honestly, I forget what I forget everything that happened in it besides the ending. Yeah. Are you going to be on tomorrow? Not night. Okay. Uh, so, uh, Saturday. I'll play Saturday and Sunday night, yeah. You will be on Saturday and Sunday night? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, next is Reach. Reach, yeah. So, I will probably start that. Yeah, um, I, I beat that recently, so I know what happens in it. If you want to okay. just like, knock that one out as fast as you can, I'll yeah. still join you if you still gotta, gotta play it when I'm online. But I played that when Reach came out on a, the Master Chief Collection, like less than a year ago. Okay, yeah, that's true. Yeah, I remember. I was waiting for a while for all of them to come out, and I don't think we're ever really gonna get five. I mean, unless it's like years from now. This way. You get it, maybe. Be an elevator um. right through here. Uh. How the hell? Set tight. Uh. We'll need the alien to power on the switch. As for not giving me a kiss. Okay, we're all set. Hit it, rookie. Reach is a beefier campaign, though. So, you'll yeah. probably still oh, my... need my help on Saturday. Well, not need my help, but you'll, you'll still be playing on Saturday. Yeah. Depends. Um, so... It really all depends on whether when did this happen? World War Three works or not. Oh, that too. Yeah. So, if oh, I'm, I'm sorry, until... I was a little Let's busy see. making sure perfume over here didn't take around and blow us all up. Eddie Buck, always thinking with his gun. You haven't changed one bit. Me? What about you? Oh, so full of big only secrets. Couldn't even give a guy a yes or no answer. That's not fair. Oh, you got that right. I never thought I'd see you again. Yeah. Well. Here I am. We need to move now. Were you too busy to plan our exit? I stole a phantom. Yes, thank you. I hid it in the shipyards down the highway. But I only have room for two. So that thing's gonna have to sit on your lap. The engineer. Where did it go? Keep me covered. Did he just honk? <laughs> and try to keep up. Take my advice, Wookie. 
You ever fall for a woman? Make sure she's got balls. Uh, sir? What? That's kinky. <laughs> Take the wheel, rookie. All right, shotgun. Uh, I think you have to drive separate. Thanks. Actually, no, don't. Yeah, yeah. Hop on this one. Hey, uh, Captain? Pick a lane. Uh, might be able to. Can you kick him out? Uh, I could try. Hang on. Hey, watch where you put that. Nice. Yeah, well, you should still hop in then. I'll hop in shotgun. Kidding me. I'm doing the best I can. Just stay out of our way. Keep coming! I think this is the final mission. Well, well, I know this is the final mission, but also Covenant they do the, shut these doors. the same the thing a second to override the lock. that uh, Halo 3 does, where you drive okay. until the end. I, think. I don't remember that. I think I could be wrong. Reinforcements! You know, what's funny is uh, this mission is called uh, Coastal Highway by H2O uh, in the OCMD, Ocean City, Maryland. What just happened? The highway there is called Coastal Highway. So it's like, haha. So we're in Maryland. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> moral of the story, we're in Maryland. <laughs> <laughs> Looks nothing like Maryland at all. What happened? Was... <laughs> Be ready, there's more. Yeah. Be careful. There's gonna be co-op for infinite, okay? but it's not gonna be out right away. No, it's not gonna be out until May or something. Why? I I have no idea. Yeah. I got a um an email for from Xbox or Microsoft saying that they were selling uh. Um, oh shoot, I think we need to destroy those because that, yeah. Because um, they're, they have limited stock for the new uh, Xbox. All right, let's move it. Uh, and they're willing, they're like, hello, you have been a uh, customer for a while. And it's basically like, we have limited stock right here. If you would like to purchase. I, mean, I like what Xbox is doing, but yeah. for the most part, why would you get an Xbox? You got a decent PC at this point, right? Exactly. Yeah. But I, I think in the long run, that's going to help them a lot. I mean, just look at PC Game Pass. If yeah. it wasn't for it, like. To be honest, they wouldn't really be getting much money from me anyways, but because of it now, I'm more likely to have hey. that. Spending $120 a month for them. Wait, what? Uh, you mean a year? A month, a year. Yeah, Jesus. okay, I was going to say, wait, what? <laughs> Not a month. <laughs> Sir? What? Uh, what? <laughs> no, what no, kind no. of Game Pass are you on? <laughs> yeah, they, they gave me exclusive. The super ultra maximum. It, I, I've oh. actually, I've actually had fours like, since October. <laughs> I just lie. I just didn't say anything about it. It's supposed to be under NDA. Yeah. But. Right. Jesus, you keep flipping it. I know. I know. Oh, I just hijacked him. Oh, oh okay, God. the He's bus driver, you know? Too. Yep. <laughs> I'm coming. Oh, wait, he was driving me. I was just getting pushed. Anyone 
We can switch out. Yeah, let's hop into the new one. This is the Gauss. Yeah, buddy. I can't shot you. You have to do it inside of the vehicle. And see that banshee? There you are. I saw uh, a rumor that Henry Cavill might be having something to do with uh, this supposed Amazon Mass Effect series. Really? Commander so, Shepard, maybe? Yeah. Like I think I think a, that a, that would be actually pretty good. I, I would love to see him play Commander Shepard. I mean, I feel like half the reason why he got Geralt was because he was so vocal about the Witcher series. Yeah. With his um, what do you call it? I see With his uh, what, what do you call the guy that does contracts for you? Uh, that tries agent? to get, yeah, his agent. I feel like, I feel like he talks to his agent about video game shit all the time. Oh yeah, he's done. Have you seen? He did a video of his PC build. Yeah, before. I saw that. <laughs> so, uh, dude, I love seeing like stuff like that. Like people that are in the know. There's um, there's a bunch of actors that are like in the know when it comes to gaming and stuff. That's funny. Dude, if he if he talks to his agent about Geralt and he gets him a Geralt role, <laughs> and now he's talking to his agent about I don't know the Mass Effect trilogy. What do you think is gonna happen? He's gonna get him the best role in it. He's gonna get him Commander Shepard. I would love to actually. I would like to see him as a Commander Shepard. I feel like that's a good. A good spot for him. I would death watch. Dude, I hope yeah. we get more stuff like that. Like, I mean, we're I getting wanna... an Uncharted movie, a yeah. Last Effect, a uh, Last Effect, uh, Last of Us, a <laughs> uh, TV series True. from HBO. Yep, yep. Uh, although I don't know how good that movie's gonna be. But yeah, movie. I don't know how any of that stuff's gonna be, but I'm open to it though. Like, we're, oh, we're getting a Halo show. Dude, like, they've been talking about Halo's show until, like, yeah. since Halo 4. Maybe <laughs> before that. That's the first I've heard of it, Halo 4. Well, supposedly this one's legit, so we'll, well see. It, well, it was legit before. <laughs> yeah. Well, they, they have an actual Paramount Plus, so uh, there's got to uh, be. No. No. <laughs> Don't Come worry, on. allegedly there's places you can watch it. No, okay, allegedly then maybe allegedly I'll be okay with it, I guess. Yeah. I'm sure it'll be okay. Or honestly just wait and see how it reviews. And then I'll just buy it like a month of it and then Exactly. Or just get a trial of it. Oh true, yeah. Make yeah, a new trial right. every time. Yeah, you're right. So, yeah, I'm getting I'm getting a little tired of the services. Yeah, of course. Like, I mean, that's. Rather than just cable, though, but. Yeah, yeah. Still, I still think it's better than cable. Um, but re in reality, for me, the only ones that I have is Disney and Netflix. Um, and then Prime is just because I have Amazon Prime. It's charging its excavation beam. Uh, but Hulu, the on the I technically the have, city. but that's because I have Spotify. And that's pretty much it. I don't How have much you pay for that? HBO, what? Uh, the Hulu, Spotify. Um, it's a combined thing. It's like 10 bucks. 
What? For, if you have Spotify, yeah, if you have Spotify, then you get Hulu with it. Um, I, need, I need to make sure I'm doing that. But the thing is that... You get ads? Yeah, the version of Hulu that you get is ads. So... There's that. Well, the, the version of Hulu I'm getting has ads. I just don't know if it's connected to Spotify or not. Yeah. I, I, I completely lost track of what I'm paying for. I need to yeah. get back no, together. For me, I think what's worse is video game subscription services, but really the only monthly ones that I have currently are... Right. Uh, yeah. Microsoft okay. and um, nice. Listen, you um, to us. Sky's EA. Microsoft and U Ubisoft. No EA, oh. Oh. EA the, the only thing with EA is that they have a yearly subscription. So that covers me for a year. And it's a little bit cheaper. I think. What is it, like 60? Uh, no, it's 120, I think. Because it's 15, or it's like, or it's like 110, I think. So you don't get like half of a month off or whatever. That's EA Pro, right? Yeah, EA Play Pro. Um, yeah. I need so. to get rid of the fucking Ubisoft. I need, I need to finish Valhalla and, and get rid of it. Yeah. <laughs> I need to get rid of it so bad. Look out! This one's the, onto us. the only reason I I keep it is because like I, I canceled it once and then a day later I I was like oh there's this game let me re sign up so I did it. What game? But, um. Forget it might have been like Far Cry like I was about to cancel it. And then I was like, oh shit, Far Cry releases soon. How much did you touch a Far Cry? <laughs> Probably not more than me. And I barely touched it. No, I did I did a good amount. I did was you, playing it. Did you get to like the part where uh you get to choose where you need to go? Yeah, yep. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's where I went and then I stopped since then. Okay. So you, you probably were farther than me. Yeah, I almost cleared out one area. Yeah, I didn't even get so, that. I I am like two missions away from clearing one area, and then I have uh, two left. I have one another one that's like one third of the way through, and then another area that was not touched at all. But the problem is, they're twenty. They have like each area has twenty missions each, and they're such a such a drag. So. Um, what's she doing? It... Hello? Yeah, literally. Oh, of course she's moving now. Veronica, <laughs> I think I had to come here. down here. Yep. Monkey, let's secure that building. Okay. Area <sighs> secure. Veronica, come to us. We'll come. Almost there. Yep. I am ready to relax tonight. Oh, I really wish I had off work tomorrow, but at the same time, I don't mind it because it just sucks that I have to go in. Step on it. But, uh, mm. yeah, I can't wait for Christmas, Christmas break. How long is your Christmas break? Um, so I get done the, the day before, um, Christmas Eve, Off I'm done at like 12, I think. I forget if it's two or twelve. Then, um, damn, you have to go in the office until two or twelve. Well, that day I'm gonna see if I can work from home because yeah. 
Like I did that yesterday because it's like it's gonna be dead and it practically was dead and then like it was just like yeah so um but yeah so that and then then it will be the weekend and then the nice thing is december since christmas is on a saturday um we get a floating day um that we have to use within that month so i get um going to use it the the monday after that weekend so then it, it'll be like a four day um, nice thing nice. and then the nice thing about the next weekend is that uh we only have so same thing for new year's eve we get out at two um so i'll literally be going in for like three or four days that week and then um then but another day yeah then one more day i'll have uh i'll get out early and then we in january we get one floater day so i'm just gonna use it on like the third day that the next monday so then it'll be like another three-day weekend or whatever so it's like going to work for like three or four days three and a half days and then getting four days off and then going to work for three and a half days and getting three days off so not too bad yeah you got it all set up for you yeah and i could like technically i could take off all those days um if i didn't i already used all my like paid time off and stuff this year you gonna like try our, and our wedding and stuff oh. yeah you're gonna try and save them for next time that's what my dad does he saves them all for uh yeah. christmas and just knocks them all out and takes like a couple weeks off yeah that's what a, a lot of people do that too so um that's what our <laughs> literally will some people do that for like thanksgiving too um yeah it just depends on yeah what so, you're what you want to do um yeah two of our like higher ups um one of the engineers that we have and then uh, another uh technically the guy that hired me slash me our boss he's taking off until like wednesday so. we have a situation but yeah i can't wait for that that'll be nice a lot My, of gaming to do exactly <laughs> My, uh, my guy is, um, sorry. my manager, he's going to be out tomorrow. So I guess he took off. So otherwise I would probably be working from home because it's probably going to be dead or for me at work, hopefully. Pat, if you're ever looking just for a job, just let me know, man. Business. We Come need on. people, so. Get out of Dude, fucking. My aunt just, uh. Go, rookie. Just Head told to me. Oh my god. So much has happened within the past couple of weeks. Um, Dairy Queen? Yeah. They offered me 50,000 salary. Jesus. For, with, uh, with medical. Jesus. <laughs> um. And. My dad just told me today. That thing's safe? That my aunt. Long as it don't get hit. Like, she's, she's only getting paid like 38 or 40 or something like that. Yeah. But she gets bonuses up the ass. Jeez. She she gets she gets she got a thirty eight thousand dollar bonus this what year. What the fuck? 
I know. <laughs> and you want to know how many wow. times this has happened That's... the past couple of years? Like three times in a row, she got the same bonus. Thir thir like between 35 and 38,000. Oh my God, what the hell does she do? She, she sells what software to school companies. It was a hell of a night. And she works from home. It's like commission, I guess. No, it's a bonus, not commission. I <laughs> asked that too. And my dad's like, no, it's it's a bonus. So I'm like, oh. And my dad's like, she has an opening. And I'm like, oh, okay. Um, I asked to see if she has an opening. I'll, I'll see. I just want to, like, tread the waters and see what happens. Yeah, if, uh, if it doesn't work out, send it over yeah, to me, too. It. I'm open to some software. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, like all I have to do is just work from home and just sell software to people, Give him some and I'm willing to do that. Yeah. It's important. It knows things. Heck, honey. I was that that about that, the bon alien. that bonus won't be the same for me, but Mickey, it'll still be good enough to. Oh my God! Yeah. To beat. Well, if it's a bulk sum, then that's like crazy. Oh, you know how much he pays for medical? For family, too busy to care. how much? Ninety dollars a month. That's not bad at all. Looks like they found what they're looking for. For family. Yeah, for. Her. If I'm solo, it's probably gonna be less for me. If oh, I'm no. remembering this correctly, Win this war? it probably won't be that much less. Not but again. you know how much I'm paying for medical now? Like a hundred and fifty? No, 100? no. <laughs> what? 700 no way for yeah, how much not. wait for a year no <laughs> no you're not saying a month right i'm saying a month it's no a way. terrible it's a terrible thing i i um I've, it's only been a couple of months i've been paying for it holy um, crap dude i got i got a contact that will uh i got a contact that will let me know uh, what what plan I should get? Jesus, that's good or not? I, I someone told me that this guy is good and he'll uh he'll give me a good plan for a good price. Jesus, dude, I, I would be free balling. I was free balling for a year. Lord I didn't Lord have Day anything. Given you clearance. Here, I I'd rather free ball, but my dad was not. Ah, yeah, dude, it's not worth it. seven hundred bucks a month. No way, Don't I'd rather worry. die, honestly. Literally. <laughs> Honestly, same. Same my bank oh, account screen. Oh, I see. Now, um, the connection. It has access to the Covenant Battle Net. Oh, Let does he see where Master Chief lands? We're not entirely sure how it manages a remote connection to the. What? Whoa! Stand down! Stand down! Sergeant Major, please. It's extremely flammable. The brutes. The bastards who put bombs on your buddies and killed millions of my people. They're digging a mighty big hole. You're gonna tell me exactly what they're looking for, and then you're gonna help me stop them. <laughs> so, they're looking for, for Master Chief, right? I guess so, I think. I, I, think. I think that's how I understood it. Because, um... Master Chief already knows about the Ark. And they don't know about it. Yeah. I, I think it's Master Chief. I think he tells them where to find Master Chief. Which is weird because how can you miss a guy? 